How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And before we get started, I want to let you guys know about the private group. Whether you want to be a better trader or a better investor, then this group is for you. If you are interested, you can find the link down inside the description. We'll be happy to have you a part of the family. So today we're going to be talking about MMAT Meta Materials and you know, TRCH. It's been a minute since I did a video, but many have been saying, hey, Dre, we need an update. Did you see the price action? Well, you know what? We're going to jump into it. So before we get started, of course, we got to go over the agenda. So the first thing that we're going to be covering is the technical analysis, taking a look at the overall price action, looking at the trend. Is it looking bullish or is it looking bearish? And then secondly, we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know our institutions loading up on shares. Are we seeing those large scale orders that we're used to? Well, you know what? We're about to find out. And then we're going to see a breakdown of the shareholder ownership. Why is this important because this does contribute to the overall volatility that we see inside the stock and I want to make sure you guys are prepared. And then when all of that is done, I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts and as well as some more key details. So let's get into it. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for Meta Materials. Let's see how it performed on Friday. So it ended up closing at $4.75, being down 17.39%. On the low, it tested $4.75 and 72 cents then on the high testing five dollars and 64 cents so first thing that we want to take a look at is the volume so we take a look at the volume on friday it was at 26.86 million but when we take a look at what the volume was for the past 10 trading days it was at 23.34 so we had more volume than usual but since the stock price went down this is more so a lot of selling that was happening and we could see from this chart it's definitely on a downward trend here. We take a look at the RSI down below. We are right around 41.29. So we are in that oversold territory. Looks like we're going to be going into the 30s. As far as for a sign of recovery, hey, I'm going to be looking forward to it. To be honest, like, I want to be very positive about this. But we can see here as far as the support at 470, we want to see it hold. If it does not hold up the support at 470, then you could definitely look forward to seeing it getting down to yes. We have a downside of going down to as low as around $4.12. But one thing we want to understand here, we want to see if it ends up getting to these levels, can it go back even further? So what I'll be looking at, I'd want to see how well it can hold up four. Because I feel like at four, this would be a psychological level. If we go to four, we should be able to actually bounce off of it. But if we break through four, then we do have some risk here where we can get down to as low as around 350. So I want to make sure you keep this in mind. So for this chart to start looking bullish again, it's going to have to at least come back to reclaim the 100 day here at $5.40. It did go to $5.64. So do keep that in mind. But we want to see this continue and then make that move to the 21 day EMA where it's at at $7.60. That's what we want to see. That would be the best case scenario. So we want to see a reversal in this pattern. But if this downtrend does continue, I won't be surprised if we end up testing around four bucks. Now let's take a look at the order order flow distribution for MMAT Metamaterials. So you can see here on the inflow, we had 30 and on the outflow, we had 35. So we had one on the large, we had 16 on the medium and 13 on the small. This is for inflow. And then on the outflow, we had 17 on the medium and on the small, we had 17. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you could see right here on July the 9th, we had 681.5. Too. So we could definitely see here, you know what, there was an institutions being involved making large scale orders. So can we look forward to seeing a bullish week or seeing some more green in MMAT? Most definitely, but do be aware there are a lot of risks associated and this is why now we're going to actually go over the shareholder ownership. As we take a look at the shareholder breakdown here, we see institutions own 2.17%. Corporations own 1.20% and insiders own 3.94%. And as well as for retail investors, they own 
0.69%. When we take a look at the industry as a whole and how it performed, so we see electronic equipment and parts was up 2.98%, and as far as technology equipment was up 1.31%. So like I talk about on this channel, there's a term that I love using, rising tides, flow all boats. So if you see a strong trend in a particular sector, it can impact the stocks that are associated with it. So that is one thing I want you guys to really understand. So a good breakdown of this, if you notice that a certain sector is doing fairly well, but the stock that's in that same sector is not doing too well, then as far as for long term is concerned, you might want to look at something else or only exception to this rule, unless something really dramatic happened with that particular stock. But that's just something that kind of give you guys an understanding but also taking into consideration of what happened on Friday as far as volume is concerned yes we ended up seeing a good amount but we also did see a lot of selling pressure but at the same time as far as a recovery we started seeing that in the after hours so this is why as far as going into this week things are definitely looking fairly interesting so now let's jump into the final thoughts so for my final thoughts for MMAT meta materials I'm definitely looking forward to seeing an interesting week and part of the reason being when I went on Fintel, I saw that the short ball free rate is well over 50%. And then on top of that, for the short interest, it is around 25 percent so what does this mean there's a lot of short squeeze potential and for anyone who is shorting mmat they're definitely paying a hefty price another thing we do need to understand and i just took into consideration even though we went through the shareholder ownership we do need to keep in mind they ended up doing a split not too long ago as far as that data is concerned it updates like every month so they could be off i just want to make sure i put that out there because i did realize that when i was recording this segment of the video so you could do some more homework and some more due diligence to get some more clarification on that but for the most part there could definitely be a strong move that is coming for this particular stock another thing also to understand yes we ended up seeing a lot of selling pressure on Friday but at the same time we ended up seeing some momentum going down inside the after hours I think it was up like about two and a half percent so this is something you definitely want to keep an eye on and continue to keep on your watch list and as far as for the dividend, I get this question. I have not received the dividend as of yet, but when I do receive it, I will make sure to keep you guys updated. I know it is taking some time, but we just got to continue to have some patience. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.